I'm Shu Yang Gu from USPC. Today I will present vector quantized diffusion model for text to image synthesis. The real scan based methods can generate images from text. However, they could not handle complex scenes. Another approach is autoregressive models. This model suffers from unidirectional bias and error accumulation issue. Besides, their inference time increases linearly with the output image resolution so it's quite time-consuming. An alternative is the noisy diffusion probabilistic model. Diffusion models contain a forward Markov process and a reverse Markov process. The forward process crops the data into a sequence of increasingly noisy latent variables. The learned reverse Markov process gradually denoise the latent variables towards a data distribution. For continuous data, the forward process typically adds Gaussian noise. In this work, we propose VQ diffusion for text to image synthesis. It starts with the VQ VAE, which encodes image from pixel level to discrete token level. Then, the VQ diffusion models the discrete lantern space by reversing the forward diffusion process. The diffusion image decoder takes two additional signals as condition input. One is the time step t, which indicates which steps in a Markov chain. Another is text token from the text encoder. We inject these two signals through adaptive layer norm and cross attention, respectively. Different from diffusion model in continuous space, in discrete space, the diffusion process is not adding Gaussian noise but leveraging a Markov transition matrix Q. Inspired by mask language modeling, we propose the mask and replace transition matrix. For an input token in time step t, it has the probability of alpha t at beta t to keep the same, and beta t to replace by another token. Besides, it also has gamma t probability to be replaced by a mask token. Please refer our paper for more detail. Another important technique is the reparameterization tree. Instead of directly predicting x t minus 1, we let the network predict the noiseness token distribution x0 at each reverse step. This reparameterization trick could reduce the network capability and contributes to the fast inference strategy, which skips some steps in diffusion model to achieve a faster inference. We show some results on in the wide text-to-image synthesis scale. Our VQ diffusion could generate high-quality images. Also, we provide both qualitative and quantitative results on CUB and Microsoft Cocoa datasets. Compared with GAN, our synthesized images have better realistic fine-grained details and are more consistent with the input text. The left table shows the comparison with previous works. VQ Diffusion S denotes our model has similar parameters with scan based method. However, our results can achieve better performance. When we increase the model size, our model can surpass previous works by large margins. We provide the ablation studies on fast inference strategy in the right table. We find it still maintains a good performance when dropping 75% inference steps which may save about 75% inference times. For a fair comparison, we replace our diffusion image decoder with an autoregressive decoder with the same network structure and keep other settings the same. The time complexity of VQAR model is ON, while VQ diffusion is OK. Besides, the VQ diffusion avoids the trouble of unidirectional bias and error accumulation issue. The VQ diffusion with fast inference strategy is 15 times faster than VQAR model with a better FID score. The VQ diffusion is general, which can also be applied to other image synthesis tasks such as unconditional image synthesis and image synthesis condition down labels. We provide our generation results on class conditional image net and FFHQ dataset here which also produce strong results. Our code and models are available. Welcome to try our code.